Numerous train journeys were cancelled this evening, causing inconvenience to commuters. Additionally, train services have been disrupted since last night, affecting operations today as well. No matter what happens, it is the common people who end up suffering. This political system needs to change into one under which the people can live a better life. We buy the season ticket on the first of the month. Then we end up spending the remainder on bus fares. Travelling by bus is very costly. Poor people always end up suffering. Many railway stations, which are usually filled with passengers, appear to be deserted today. Sri Lanka's army and police deployed troops to ensure the security at railway stations. The Department of Railways stated that two trains each travelling from Colombo 4 to Chilau and Colombo 4 to Behanguda, two trains from Polgahavila to Colombo Fort, three trains from Gaul to Colombo Fort as well as one train from Alutgama to Colombo Fort had to be cancelled this morning due to the strike. The Ministry of Transport has made arrangements for passengers who have already purchased season tickets to use it when boarding SLTB buses. The railway controllers announced its support towards the strike initiated by station masters. The Ministry of Transport and Highways announced that the transport service has been declared as an essential service by an extraordinary gazette. The ministry stated that strict disciplinary measures will be taken against those who fail to report to work. The general manager of railways stated that station masters who do not report to work today will be considered as having left the service. No matter what is done, how can the Treasury Secretary provide these funds? I begged those on strike not to do it, as people use the small amount of money they have in their hands to purchase their season tickets. I gave them time until 12 today and asked them to report to service. If they do not report to work, they will simply lose their job. We will consider them as those who have vacated the service and proceed from that point onwards. Are the trade unions willing to report to work? If the general manager can run the Department of Railways without our contribution, we are more than happy to let him do it. We have decided to engage in a continuous strike. We have no need to discuss matters. We had 20 to 30 discussions with the minister. He has given his recommendation. We need decisions, not discussions. At least let us know if they can or cannot. They aren't even telling us that. I'm here at the Fort Railway Station. We are considering the current situation. Scores of people have been affected by the trade union action launched. Now, what the people had to say us and the passengers travelling in trains had to say us is that all they want is to head back home. Now, earlier today, despite the strike launched, we did see 35 trains operate and we also saw a request made to retired uh, railway personnel rather to uh, report to work in order to make sure that services uh, go on smoothly. And amidst all this, we have been told by the railway station masters the union that the trade union action will continue. Now, reporting to you on the latest situation here in Fort alongside Nandana Bimala Sena, this is Jua Dabrin for the News First Team.